All right, guys, this is the first yard of the day. Uh, this footage is going to be from Thursday and Friday of last week. Uh, I got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of mowing footage, not a whole lot of uh, talking back and forth footage. Uh, we were kind of in go mode, and it's just kind of a little bit easier just to throw a GoPro on me and and uh, and record that way, you know, without losing a whole bunch of time trying to film different stuff. So, um, you know, you guys have seen this yard plenty of plenty of times. Uh, I love showing this yard. It's easy. It's easy to film. It looks good when you're done, but I wanted to take this opportunity and talk to you guys about running your business. Uh, there's a lot of talk going around YouTube and other places about uh, criticism and you know what, what people need to do to run their business. And I kind of wanted to give you my point of view on the subject. You know, when I started my business, I, I didn't know how to run a business. I still, I still don't know how to run a business. Uh, you know, I'm trying, I'm learning every day, and I think that's what you need to do. Uh, you know, I think you just need to try stuff. If it doesn't work, then you try something else. You know, and you know, as far as charging goes, what your rates are, you know, it's hard to figure out, uh, especially when you're when you're first starting, what you want to charge, what you don't want to charge, the jobs you want to do, the jobs you don't want to do. You know, one thing I've learned this year is. Everything will eventually work itself out. I, I believe that. I believe that 100%. That you know, you just keep trying to better yourself and better your business, and I think things will work out. Well, the point I'm trying to make, guys, is you know, take advice, take criticism, but run your company the way you want to run your company. You know, have a vision. Have some kind of goal that you that, that that you have for your company, and do what you got to do to you know work towards that goal to achieve that goal. You know, my goal uh, this year is to pay off as much debt from my company as I can. You know, I've went out and I've, I've bought a couple things this year that I did not plan on, but I'm doing that because I got a good deal, or you know, or whatever. You know, it's just. You know, I, I seen a good deal, I went after it, but at the same time, that's what I'm trying to do for my company this year. I'm trying to pay off as much stuff as I can, trying to get my expenses down to where I can expand and not have to charge more than what I'm charging now and you know, and try to try to grow my business that way. That's my plan. You know, that might not work for everybody, might not work for anybody. I don't even know if it's going to work for me. But I, that's that's the kind of goal, the vision that I have. And, you know, that's the way I'm, I'm approaching this year. At the end of the day, guys, you guys need to do what you think is right for your business, for your company. Don't let anybody tell you what you, what you should be charging. Don't let anybody tell you what you should be doing if it's something that you don't feel comfortable doing, okay? You know, there's a lot, a lot of people out there that will tell you that uh, you need to be charging this, you need to be charging that. You know, who are they to say what you need to be, what you need to be charging, what, what you feel comfortable making?
Today is not getting off to a good start. I left my wallet at home. Had to go borrow money from my dad. Good thing he was close by. And, uh, but I'm not gonna have my wallet all day now. I hate that. But I am gonna go back. I'm gonna try some more flavor. I ain't done this in a while. We are still doing the water challenge. Man, I'm tired now. A lot of weed eating. We knocked it out pretty damn fast. About an hour. Yeah. About an, about an hour and that's probably about 15 houses maybe. About 20. 20? Yeah. yeah. Probably, probably pretty close to 20, yeah. Man, I started, uh, I started sweating like right off the bat. I mean, it's hot out. It went just I mean, pulling yeah, it. pull the trigger and you're sweating. <laughs> 10 minutes into it, man, I had sweat just coming down my face, all of my eyes. Water's good. Water's good. Whew. Well, we got two options. You wanna go weed eat the rest real quick? Yeah. We get done, then all we gotta do is just ride for a few hours. Sounds good to me. I can't start in these two houses over here, and then. Just you want to go that way, and I'll go those two, and then I'm back uh, the other way. So you want to go this way, and hit the three more houses, and then back to this one. Yeah. If you just want to go, start on this side right here, the corner. Okay, go all the way down. No, this, this side is already. Oh, you already done those? You yeah. did those too? Yeah, that's already. Man, you're yeah. an animal. So you just need to do the, the house salon over there, and then, then the corner, and then two more in the end, that's it. But yeah, then just wherever you stopped over here, just keep going, mm -hmm. and then come around to the other side. Yeah. And then I'll start over here, and we'll meet over there in the middle. All right, sounds good to you. And we'll get that done, yeah. knocked out, probably about, what, an hour? Mm-hmm. Another hour, and we'll be, we'll be golden. Just a bunch of riding after that, riding and blowing. Riding and blowing, yeah. Alright, so this is what happens to your bump heads when they get old. They pop out. They break. There's a little spring that goes in there. You gotta make sure you can find it or get some more extra, get some more spares. Because you'll need that.
Here's the new one. Just kind of screw the spring on there, just like that. Put that back in there, just like so. Bam. And just like that, you got a new head. New bumper, anyway. Voila. Albero doing his thing. All right, finally got done weed eating. Let's see what time it is. 10.45. Not too bad at all. It's a lot of weed eating, 35 houses. I'm drenched. This is where it's uh, beneficial to have a lot of single houses where you know, you get out, you do a house, but you get back in the truck, cool off for a couple minutes on your way to the next one. Here, we're kind of stuck outside all day, you know, without getting back in the truck. So, uh, we do get back in the truck sometimes just to cool off, but, uh, you know, Albero's in, you know, he's kind of always in go mode. So, I'm not, I don't want to hop in the truck if he's not going to hop in the truck. I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> but I will if I have to. You guys need to be careful. I really do. I'm very conscious about how how long we're outside and all that kind of stuff. I don't want nobody getting hurt, nobody passing out. It's not worth it. But pretty happy all we eating's done. All we gotta do, we got about probably about three hours of mowing and we'll be out of here. We mowed some yesterday. We mowed two or three hours yesterday to get us a head start on it and uh Decided to come back in the morning, get all the weed eating done. So that's what we did. So now we just got to finish up mowing. We'll be out of here. And after this, we just have a couple singles to do. We're done for the week. Pretty sure we'll get it all done today. It's hot. It's supposed to be 102 today. I don't even know what the heat index, what it's going to feel like. Probably somewhere around 110, I would assume. But uh, I wish that wind would pick up. <laughs> I'd like that 30 mile an hour Midwest wind right, right about now. When I say it's hot out there, it is hot out there. Woo! I feel my neck burning, so I turn my hat around. <sighs> Holy cow, Barrow. Hot. Woo! I don't know about you, but I need a break. Worn out.